Colleen and Carrie, this is all connected to something court records show happened on a bus yesterday. According to the victim's family attorney, they were back at the doctor's office today. Here is what we know so far. According to court documents, video from the bus shows what happened. We have requested the video from the district, but it has not been shared with us. The state's bond recommendation says the video shows Joseph Carter walking over to the victim on the bus and grabbing his left hand with force, which broke the boy's finger. The victim's family attorney says his client is a 15-year-old boy with autism who was on a bus for kids with disabilities. It's always shocking as a parent to get these kind of cases. And it's sad because as a parent, you can't imagine your child being defensive and being assaulted or abused by people who are supposed to care for them. I reached out to Carter's attorney. He sent me this statement saying, my client is not guilty of this charge and we intend to fight vigorously to clear his good name. Mr. Carter looks forward to the opportunity to present his case in court and is confident in his innocence. The Olentangy Local School District is also investigating, writing in a statement, an Olentangy Schools bus driver was suspended without pay today by the school district pending an investigation. We are fully cooperating with authorities and conducting an internal investigation. As always, the safety of our children we serve is our highest priority. And Carter is scheduled to be back in court again next week. Local for you in Delaware County, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4. Eric,